everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are here for the first time. I hope you are doing well. I am personally sick. You may hear it from my voice. I haven't lost my voice completely, at least yet. I hope I will not. Last time when I was sick I did lose my voice. I was supposed to film this video yesterday, but I was so sick that I just couldn't film. I thought it would cheer me up if I put some makeup on, but no, I was wrong. I was so tired that I couldn't even finish my makeup. I was too tired to put lipstick on. So I didn't film yesterday. I had fever. I do not have fever anymore, but I am still little bit sick, but I still decided to film this video, put on some basic makeup, something just to make me not look like a jumpy. So today's video is going to be my 5 product geek letter in the month of March. In case you are new to these videos or new to my channel, each month I decided to declutter 5 makeup products from my collection. I like to watch declutters, but I personally don't wanna do a declutter where I force myself to declutter a lot of my makeup collection. I think for me this is a better way to do it, that I declutter slowly products that I, for some reason, don't want to use anymore. Actually, I saw an amazing video. It was made by a channel uh, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. I will link the channel and the video down below. Uh, she was talking about um, pressure to declutter in makeup community. I really much agreed with her views. I think that video was amazing and the channel is amazing. She does so much of these opinion videos and I really much agree with the things she says. For me it is better to declutter my collection slowly, so I decided that I will each month declutter five products. And this is like not forcing myself to declutter, these are something I actually want to declutter. The first thing I'm going to declutter, I'm going to give this to somebody else, is the Milani eyeshadow primer. If you have watched my channel longer, you know I do not like brand Milani because they do the thing that they label something as vegan and then <laughs> they take the labeling off and you never can know if the product actually is vegan or not. I bought a blush from them that was labeled as vegan and it actually contained lanolin, so I was really disappointed by that. I'm sorry, there is a renovation going on in my neighbor apartment. They were having a break when I started filming, but now they are going again. I do like this primer, but I do have two other eyeshadow primers. One is in my project pan and I'm focusing on using that one now. And I also do have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer, which I think is quite similar to this. I do not need both and I rather use the Wet n Wild one because I know 100% sure that that one is vegan. So. It's better for me to give this to somebody else now that it's still good and it hasn't expired. So that's the only product that is going forward. Other of these I'm going to toss except this one. So this is the Body Shop, what is this? Shimmer Cubes palette and this is in shade 31. So I think I'm going to still keep this but I'm taking it out of my makeup collection. I think this is cute so I will use it as a decoration item. This is not good quality so that's why I don't want to keep it in my actual makeup collection. The reason I bought this is because this has the colors of my hometown's ice hockey team. So in case you don't know I come from a small town called Rauma here in Finland and the colors of Rauma Lukko are yellow and blue. This was on sale, I wouldn't have paid the full price because these are almost like 30 euros. No way worth it. This is really bad quality. I think the yellow one is the only one that is actually like nice quality. The other ones are like very bad. So this is the yellow. So this is the blue one. This is like so bad. So bad, I don't know what they were thinking. Like. <sighs> See, I can do this and still it's like sheer. I think I'm going to put this to my Ikea Lux shelf. And I have here three lip products from NYX. All of these I'm going to toss. These are quite old. So in case you haven't heard yet, there is now a NYX vegan product list at Logical Harmony. That is amazing because previously NYX couldn't confirm that their ingredients are vegan, but now they can. That is amazing. So none of these products is on their vegan product list and I don't think these are so good that I want to keep them. So first products are these like 
their lip liner pencils. They are all right, like they are not the worst ever. However, I have used better. They are a little bit harder than my favorite lip liners, but they are not extremely hard. I don't like extremely hard lip liners, but they are just a little bit hard and a little bit patchy when applied. They don't last very well. I don't see anything special with this one. And both of the colors I have here, shade pinky and shade nude beige. Both of them are something that I do have lip liners that are very similar color, not exact dupe, but similar enough. So I don't need these. I don't enjoy using them, so I might as well toss them. And the final thing I'm going to toss is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Siren. So this one is like a vampy blue shade. Blue, vampy purple shade. NYX Matte Lipstick is one of my favorite lipstick formulas like the good shades. However, I think it's a little bit inconsistent. I have tried six shades. All of them have been quite bright shades or quite deep shades. I haven't tried any nudes because I don't like matte nude lipsticks. The worst of these matte lipsticks was the shade Aria. So it is like true purple shade. It was very patchy and very dry. Then there has been some reds and pinks I have used that are so creamy and so pigmented. I think this is something like between the Aria and the good ones. It goes on quite nicely, but um, it's not as good as the other ones. And I don't know if you can see it, but when applied, this one is actually quite patchy looking. Not my favorite. And now that it's spring, I don't use these type of vampy shades that much. I love my vampy, vampy shades still all year around. But also, um, I do have shades that are similar enough to this. I don't have an exact tube, but for example, the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Sad Girl, which is one of my favorite vampy lip colors ever, it is similar enough to this. I'm just going to toss this because I have had it quite a long time and I do not enjoy the formula as much as some of my other NYX matte lipsticks. Okay, so this was my five product declutter in the month of March. I'm happy that I can give this to somebody who actually needs it and the other products are something I do not enjoy wearing. So yeah, I'm happy with this monthly declutter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please put thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye.